Hi, I'm Alejandro, Principal Frontend Engineer at Working Net Corporation. And this lightning talk is the result of some basic experimentation with Angular signals to showcase how this new reactive system recently introduced as a developer preview in Angular 16 can be very instrumental to drive transitions and animation in Angular applications. But it seems to be a long time ago for me when I was a kid in the Caribbean island of Cuba, while I was playing Monkey Island, Prince of Persia, and Wolfenstein 3D, my grandmother, my abuela, was playing this in pen and printed paper with topics probably not related to Angular or anything that resembles new technologies by any means. So I picked this, a word search puzzle, a typical a one to illustrate the intersection of signals with angular animations. Let's use a bidimensional array that represents the seven columns and seven rows to match the length of the diagonal winning sequence that forms the word signals. So in the code that I'm going to share by the end of the presentation, you can find the logic of two simple for loops, that fills the board and initializes the cells with two properties. One, to show, I mean, to actually store the random letter if the square is not part of the sequence, and a second property to represent the default correct or incorrect state that can be associated to each individual state. Two signals are getting initialized as component properties. The first one, that is called number of click cells, will track the player's activity to use the resulting number as a parameter for the upcoming animations. And the last one is going to broadcast a Boolean value when the user clicks on the last adjacent cell that is going to form the winning sequence. In the component decorator, we can declare the animation metadata property following the Angular Animations API rules, and in the template, we can associate a signal expression to what is gonna switch between different animated states. Once a user completes a journey of finding the right sequence of adjacent letters that forms the winning word, each of the individual squares are gonna follow a random trajectory away from the original position. There is this function that is called randomized cell position that contains a computer random factor signal that updates its value based on another signal. And the function returns a parameterized value that is going to be read by the metadata property on the component decorator. I invite you to read the article titled Signaling Angular Animations that was published a few weeks before the conference in the ng-conf blog. The article goes through this example and is also available in Spanish under the title of Señalizando Animaciones en Angular. The code base is available in GitHub, so feel free to clone it and download it to your local environment. So besides examining the code base and the whole logic, you can also have some fun exploring the sequence and winning the crossword puzzle. And if you go and switch the branch to the Spanish translation, you can find that every single area, except for the reserved keywords on the CSS, HTML, TypeScript, and JavaScript languages has been translated to Spanish. So you can also have fun with that. Join the conversations in the monthly Angular community meetups and also read the other articles related to signals in the ng-conf blog. Thank you so much for your time and see you soon.